sure what, what to do at this point. I mean, it's almost, um, I'm like way deep in my car in, in water. Yeah, I'm, I'm up on my sunroof. And that was both Detective Clunk. He was the first officer on the scene of that devastating flooding that inundated Jersey County in Illinois last week. Unfortunately, an elderly couple was killed. One man, he was rescued. That was the man that you heard, Robert Cress. He was able to call 911 to inform the police that he was trapped in, car, in his car. And Robert is joining us now and just sort of recounting the shocking moment. First off, Robert, we want to thank you for being with us this afternoon after an extremely scary scenario. Can you walk us through the moment when you realized that you were in danger? We heard it on the dispatch call, but what were you thinking as you started to, to see the water come right in your direction? Well, first of all, I was su totally surprised at how fast the water came. Um, it, it was, you know, four or five feet within minutes, and it became seven feet in just a matter of seconds, it seemed like. And, you know, it's trying to figure out, you know, you know, I'm trying to stay calm, but yet, you know, I knew I had to get out of there, you know, and become, you know, make it out safely. And like I said, I was concerned about the, the other gentleman that was in the, the car in front of me. And, you know, and it became a situation of, you know, calling 911 to let them know, number one, we were there and um, what the situation was. I can only imagine how hard this is to not only kind of recount this, you know, situation, see the images here for you, but when you were in the car and you talked about that water rising so quickly, what was your initial thought? What was your, your initial attempt to, you know, try to escape? How did you, how, what did you think first and foremost? Well, first of all, I, I tried to push the door, but that was, the wa force of the water against the door was impossible. And as the water's rising, I could hear the water getting into the electrical components of the car. And so I quickly opened the uh, sunroof and I felt that, it, okay, that would be, you know, one sure way of getting out of the car. And, you know, I wanted to call and let them know where I was. Uh, my, my issue was I was going to stay with the car as long as I could. And even uh, I have to... Uh, commend the 911 operators. They were fabulous. They, you know, she stayed with me the whole time, you know, constantly trying to find out what was my situation. You know, it was just, you know, nice to know that we have people out there that, you know, are dedicated to making sure the, the citizens of Matt, um, Jersey County are safe. Yeah, we heard that from the dispatch call. We also heard that from the detective that was one of the first on the scene. He said it was only about a half a mile of distance from where he parked his car to getting to you. He said it felt like a five mile run just in the immense amount of water. What was the rescue operation like? How would they be able to take you from at least the hood of your car on top of your car back to safety? Well, um, between the uh, Jersey County Sheriff's, the QEM um, fire department, which does, covers Elsa area up there. Um, I know there was Godfrey, um, I believe um, Brighton. There was several different groups and the Jersey County sheriffs were trying to talk to me and, you know, advise me of this situation constantly. And in turn, um, they created a chain of people with ropes and all to come out to where I was. Uh, unfortunately, the first time he tried, he, he was coming straight at me and the current of the water took him behind me. So they regrouped and went in front of me and came up around. And um, when he reached my car, he crawled up on the, the rear of my car, gave me a life jacket. Um, Unfortunately, I had my phone, had kept my phone out my, in my hand the whole time. And he says, uh, you're going to have to stick that in your pocket. And I was cringing because that's my lifeline. And um, we, he said, lean against me and they'll pull us in. And 
they did. And I commend all of them for risking their lives to save mine. <clears throat> Absolutely. I know that that had to be been a scary situation for you, but we are so happy that you're safe at home now and they were able to come out and help you. Um, and we thank you for even spending a moment of your time to share your story with us here at Fox Weather. Uh, Robert well, Kress. The one key is, the one key that I want people to realize is if you get a flash flood warning on your phone, take heed of it. Yes. You, you know, it's, it, it can come so quick. You know, I mean, I got the warning, but I got it like two minutes before this all happened. But the, the reality is now I know if I see those warnings, I, you know, a lot of us just kind of go, OK, yeah, it's not going to happen to me. Well, mm -hmm. it did. And it's very it's it's a very scary situation, but Absolutely. people need to heed those warnings 100 percent. Absolutely. That is a remarkable tip, and we will continue to issue out that messaging, too. But so glad to see that you are safe and at home now. Robert Kress, thank you so much for spending your time, and good luck on your recovery as well.